Lesson 3. Scientific Basis in Research History At the previous lessons, we learned about the brain and the very important role of the brain in life. There are many methods to understand the brain. Nowadays, we have a method known as a most optimal solution in exploring human potential, fingerprint biometrics. Fingerprint biometrics refers to the biological survey of fingerprints. Thus biometrics is a science that studies our external characteristics biologically. We have a lot of questions to explain, why does fingerprint biometrics have a consistent correlation with the human brain? Is fingerprint biometrics a form of divination? Can we understand our brains through fingerprints? What can we use fingerprints in life to do? Beside our use for timekeeping, we can apply fingerprint to make identity cards. In some cases related to crime or law, we also use fingerprint as a way to find out culprit. Because the fingerprints is not changed. During our life, we only own an only unique fingerprint and it only enlarges a tissue structure aspect when we grow up. Fingerprints do not overlap. In spite of twins with the same egg, the fingerprinting rate is extremely rare. Especially, fingerprints have a strong correlation with the brain. This is the scientific basis for fingerprints to be a distinct identification point of each person and a basis for analyzing potentials and intellect. About the researching history of the science subject, we know that fingerprint biometrics is a science but not a form of divination, it can help us decrypt a lot of potential for the brain. The structure of the hand skin includes three layers, the epidermis, the outermost layer of skin, the dermis, beneath the epidermis, contains tough connective tissue. It is directly related to the nerve of the brain. Its fingerprints are considered as mapping to the density of nerve cells in the brain. About the scientific basis of fingerprint biometrics, from 60s of 17th century, Marcello Malfici, who was the father of microscopic anatomy, discovered that fingerprints were unique. Thus, the identification of fingerprints was unique and it was special characteristic of each person that had been completed by scientific research. The next milestone was in 1880, Henry Fultz had studied fingerprints related to the nature of human genes and intellectual potential. He gave a theory about TFLC, which is the total density of fingerprints, would be relatively accurate about the genes and human potential. Fingerprints were unique fingerprints related to the nature of human genes and intellectual potential fingerprints are directly related to the brain. In 1926, Harold Cummins showed that the fetal cells from 13 to 19 weeks of age were a period of fingerprint formation that was also a period of formation of brain cells. Thus these two processes are parallel. Fingerprints and the brain have a close relationship with each other. At that time, he gave the term dermatoglyphics, which is known as the terminology of fingerprint biometrics. Fingerprint biometric officially became an independent science at that time. And Harold Cummins is considered the father of fingerprint biometrics. In 1958 Noel Jacqueline proved his fingerprints linked to a special personality. Hence, fingerprints are not only unique but also reflect the special features of each person. Especially, there are proof that fingerprints are directly linked to the brain. It reflects genes and genetics. In addition, the fingerprints show the personality and behavior of human. All of them are proved by signs. Since 1981, 
Roger W. Sperry defined the theory of the whole brain and won the Nobel Prize in Biomedical. He demonstrated that the human brain has two hemispheres, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Roger W. Sperry's scientific research has created an extremely significant highlight for the neuroscience at the time. In 1926, Harold Cummins studied the forming fingerprints parallel to the process of brain formation. And another hint in 1989, Riddle Levi Montalcini and Stanley Cohen have been awarded the Nobel Prize in the field of physiology and medicine by discovering the relationship between the two indices. That's the nerve growth factor, NGF, related to the growth of nerve cells and the EGID, epidermal growth factor, related to growth of the epidermis in fingerprint forming process. Once again, science proved that during brain development, at the same time, there will be two NGFs developing the skin epidermis and EGF developing the brain. And these two indicators are parallel in the process of pregnancy. Indeed, throughout the timeline we can realize that the history of fingerprint fingerprinting has been around for a long time. From the 60s of the 17th century people began to learn about fingerprints and until now we have applied its values. Fingerprint biometrics is an integrated industry based on the science of genetics, neurology, embryology and many other industries to find the close correlation between fingerprint and brain. Hopefully, with the recent scientific research, you can better visualize the fingerprint biometric science as an independent science sector of exploring human potent.